everybody. Sort of, I've been up for like four hours already, so it's not really the morning, but it's still like early nine o'clock, so it's still the morning. I don't know where I was going with that one. I have pretty much started doing all my animals, and since I did my first vlog the other day, most people wanted to see more of my animals. So I'll tell you guys from my morning routine. I've already put Gertie the sheep out and the geese out as well, so I've got to do my horses, my chickens, my other geese, and my goats. And I think that's everything. The chickens are already outside eating and this guy's looking at me fun. But it's the rooster in this little group here that I need to really be careful for. You'll see, he'll come after me. He always comes after me. Yeah, he's gonna come straight over here. Pretend he's kicking up some dust. But the moment I turn my back, oh, he's gonna strike. I'm telling you that now. And like, he's not even intimidating. Look at him, he's so small. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? So I have two horses technically. This one here is mine. His name is George and he eats a lot and is a general pain in my butt, but I love him loads and he's gorgeous and nice. And then this one over here, he is Bailey. He isn't my horse, but I look after him for a friend and he is like the boss and he also has a really cool fly veil. Yeah, look at that. Stunning. I don't know if you guys can see like the size comparison. I don't even, I can't see anything on this camera because it's so bright. But um, this is George. He is 16, two hands high. Both of my horses are injured at the moment though, so I'm just gonna quickly bandage up George's legs and double check on Bailey. which is already bandaged. And stop making noise, mister. Mm -hmm, I'm looking at you. His leg is now wrapped in beautiful purple and he's hopefully not feeling too sorry for himself, are you, buddy? If you guys thought that my horse stables were a mess on my room in my last vlog, you should see this chicken pen. Basically, it's pretty hard to keep anything clean when you have so many pets in here, but we've got like my ducks and my chickens and rubbish absolutely everywhere. So inside this really dark looking shed, we have so many ducks and geese that are on eggs. Like that includes these wild ducks as well. Because there's only one egg at the moment, I'm just gonna leave it and I'll collect them again later on today. But these guys are now fed. Now I'm gonna have to move on to the main attraction, which is my goats. It's really nice at the moment because spring is here in Australia. So all of these fruit trees that we've had here for years are like starting to, you know, get fruit and stuff like that. I can't think of what the actual word is, but my favorite one here is the mulberry tree because like it goes crazy every year. And like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's already so many mulberries and I'm so excited to eat them all. So although I said it's my day off, most of my day today is going to be spent building pens. If you guys can see ahead, there's like white boards. That's what I was doing yesterday. And that's what I'm gonna have to finish doing today because my goats are escape artists. They get out of here, no matter what. So this one here, who I call my little unicorn, is Kel, and this one here is Lila. So yes, they are named after the book characters from A Darker Shade of Magic, and I think that represents them both pretty damn well. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Kel here actually has like a pretty cool backstory. I had him for like two days and then he got really, really, really sick. Like he was on the verge of dying. And I mean, like he had everything wrong with him from pneumonia to kidney failure and everything in between that. So I took him to the vets and then four and a half grand later, he's all better and super happy living here and getting very, very fat. He looks so freaking done. Look at that blinking. Oh. I just let me sleep. Well, I'll let him sleep and I'm gonna go and grab myself some mulberries in that time. <laughs> mm -mm. So my mom's going to her first, what is it? First day of that. Fitness Renegades. At Fitness Renegade, and she went and bought some new shoes just so she can be part of the cool club. Hey, you're looking pretty cool. And she's very nervous, but excited, right? Yes. Yes? Cool. Get out of here. Five kilos. Five kilos. Yeah. <laughs> Off that butt. <laughs> she's going to go early because she doesn't want to be late, but she doesn't want to be too early. <laughs> I just want to fit in and be part of the in crowd. You are. You're in. in a good group. Bye. Go on, get out of here, cool kid. And you guys remember these guys, of course, hey? You guys can't eat that. Don't eat that. That's pizza. That's pizza. <laughs> Stickalish. Gertie's here as well. She's still very timid, but 
still very happy out on the grass with her best friends. But the cuts on her nose are starting to go too, so that's really good. She's definitely doing much better. They're still trying to eat the pizza. It's not real. You can eat it. I uh, forgot that I had an egg in my pocket. Yep, that is definitely what you want on a Saturday. Great. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Funny, was that really the best way to go? <laughs> And this here is Melly. You might be wondering why her pupils are so damn big. And that's because Melly here is blind, but she still manages to get around everywhere, just sometimes bumping into people. This is just one of the many stacks of books that I have around the house that need to be put away. But it seems like the hardest thing to do when my library is such a mess right now. I wasn't kidding when I said that my goats are escape artists. Hello ma'am, how are you? Just sitting at a table, are you? And oh, I see, we have another boy sitting at the table. You guys like to enjoy a fine meal cuisine, huh? We ate off that table. And so do you guys, apparently. Hmm? Um, excuse me, you're not allowed inside of the actual house. Come on, where's Kel? Oh God, oh my God, all right, come on. Out. Did he go? Oh god, no. Come, 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 come here. <laughs> come on. This is why we have colors on them. <laughs> come on. This way. Come on. Okay, are you guys ready for this? These guys follow me, mostly because I bottle fed them from when they were young, so they're pretty clingy, but it's really funny to watch them run after me. <laughs> That's probably going to be like the most dodgy filming ever. Just temporarily put the goats away because I know that they are going to break through that really patchwork job that I just did. So I'm just going to feed Gertie now, wash the baby geese, and then I've got to go to my friend's house to do some photography um, on her foal that was just been born about three months ago. Yes, let's hopefully get everything done and then I can get home and actually fix the goat's pen and hopefully do some writing as well. <laughs> So they like instantly decide to go to the toilet right where they're gonna swim. That's good job guys, good job. And Rat here is the little lifesaver. Anything goes wrong and he's gonna be straight in there. Okay, so this is my first time actually using the camera in the car without somebody else. So let's hope that the angle and everything is okay. So like I said earlier, I'm on my way to my friend's house to take photos of her foal. Um, and then I've got to come back here and do a bunch of stuff. So who knows how it's actually going to work out? Because there's actually so much that I need to do today and so little time and so little helpers. <sighs> Plus, I'm also doing my NaNoWriMo novel as well, and that at the moment is like super hectic. Um, for those of you who didn't watch my last vlog, I decided to restart my story on the eighth day into NaNoWriMo. I hadn't done that many words anyway, so it wasn't a huge loss, and I'm super behind. So at the moment, I think uh, we're on day 11 or 12. I, can't even, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, and you're supposed to have written about 18, over 18,000 words. And I'm currently sitting at about 12,000 words. And I also wrote um, 5,000 words yesterday, which is really good. I'm super happy with that. I kind of sat down after I'd done all my work. I went to my like little writing room and I did like four hours work. I believe in that time when I wrote 5,000 words, I was just totally channeling my story and I was so happy with it. So yeah, let's hope that it stays that way because I still need to catch up. So I'm hoping I'll be able to punch out another 5,000 words tonight. Who actually knows? Fingers crossed I can do it. I really need to get back on track. And although I know where my story is heading, I've also changed pretty much absolutely everything from the first draft that I did my story in. But on the exciting side, one of my, um, on the exciting side, I've actually had one of my friends 
read it so far. She's read the first chapter, I'm pretty sure. And I'm like so nervous because I haven't actually had someone outside of my family. Oh wow, those are really pretty flowers. Sorry. Um, I haven't had anyone actually read my story yet, so yeah. Besides family, like I, I force my family to read it all the time, and so far I hope she's gonna enjoy it. I'm not too sure, so fingers crossed. Back side, you're not for the metal, um, yep. and then we'll get what we can get off the gold pen, and then we'll do the sheet pen later. Yes, ma'am. All right, now let's see. All right, later. bye. Yay. This is my finished look. I call it the makeup tutorial of being busy all day and doing animal things. And this is perfected. I do have this look quite often. Probably wondering why the camera quality has gone down and that is because I forgot my camera lens today when I went to my friend's house to take photos of her horse. So yay for me now having to go a few days without my camera lens. But hey, we're all here, we're fine. And I'm going to go and have a shower now and hopefully do some writing and sleep forever. Before I do have a shower though, I'll quickly show you guys the goat pen and that is what took up the majority of my day. Look at its adorable little white sort of picket fence, not really, but uh, yeah, all these panels have been put on and I've cleaned it all and inside looks so much nicer. But these guys won't be escaping anymore, will ya? Hey? No, you guys won't be going anywhere. Nowhere. Look at that skewer itching her back. Did you guys see that? That is amazing. And I am back and clean and showing you guys what I call my everyday look. It is basically no makeup except for my eyebrows because I've got scars on my eyebrows and they look horrible if I don't. So this is, yes, my face clean off makeup. And my dog is scratching at the door. <laughs> So I believe you have all met little Pippa. She is my little angel, my heart, my love, my everything. Anyway, so I am going to do some writing because I am so far behind and I have to get to it. But I am currently sitting on 12,259 words, which I have done over the space of like five days, I think. So I'm pretty okay with that. I just hope that I can still finish on time for NaNoWriMo. feeling it. The most I wrote was that single sentence I showed you before because everything that I write is super trash and sucky and horrible and I give up for tonight because I will be back tomorrow writing hopefully. Just gotta get this brain working. Please work. I'm probably just gonna go to bed now and watch Netflix. I'm gonna go and hopefully you guys have a lovely bookish day and great things happen to you and you guys enjoyed this and my pets and hopefully you guys will see them again soon. But for now take a look at my super messy bookshelf that is filled with more TBR books and special books and things that I need to clean up including this beautiful thing here. Bye! Bye. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with a tea cake unboxing.